Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to begin the series of how to create pixelated NFT art and how to deploy it on OpenSea using the Polygon blockchain. So if this is something that you're interested in, please stick around. So this is what we're going to be building today. Uh, we're going to be uh, creating, rather, uh, these NFTs, which are pixelated NFTs. And I already deployed them on OpenSea, but I will walk you through the whole process of how to do it and you can create your own art as well. The name of the collection is the much exclusive Doge Yacht Club. And as you can see, these are pixelated, um, you know, pixelated NFTs. As you can see them here, you know, they have different traits. This one has like a cigarette. Uh, this one has like, you know, these cool sunglasses. This one has like red eyes and so forth and so on. This one has an eye patch and you see they vary. They have different traits. And different and they're all combined with different uh, layers right that create the the nfts and if you go let's say into this one well this one is number seven and it costs around fifty dollars and as you can see once you go to properties it tells you like you know what the background is the base which is this uh you know the eyes uh, they're looking to the right uh, you know, other, which is, uh, I think this is the, well, the ones that have like, you know, the pink and yellow color and so forth and so on. All right. The first thing that you want to do is go to Photopea or any other image editor that you might have. If you have a uh, Photoshop, then use Photoshop because it's better. This one is a free version and you'll have to do a couple of things to, to make it work. But, uh, but you can use this one. And also it's important to. Uh, to say this you need to save your work constantly because this um, website shuts down you know for no reason so you so it's good that you keep saving your work as you are working on on your nfts so click on new project and here well you can just call this uh i don't know nft the name of your collection or whatever you want to call it doesn't really matter at this point yet so you want to change this to 64 by 64 and this really depends on how how big you want your nfts to be and here you want to put 300 which is the pixels per inch and once you put that this one is going to default to that but uh, change it back to whatever you want it to to be in my case 64 where it says background you want to select transparent and we're good to go so now create and you'll have something like that you'll have to zoom in once you zoom in you'll see the pixels here so each uh, square is a pixel and let me just walk you through this website let me close this here and what you want to do here and this is really important so here you have your layers uh, right now we just have the background it has no color as you can see and uh, so what you want to do is come here to where the brush tool is and you want to click where the arrow on the lower right corner is here uh, well if you click on okay there pencil and you want to select the pencil tool so let me tell you why you don't want to use the brush tool so as you can see there is this circle here and you can adjust the size going here and you can set it to you want to set it to one ideally but you can set it to whatever you want to so let me choose a color let me so red let's say that i want to start using the brush tool right so then it will gonna paint i'm gonna paint like if if it's a brush as you can see you're gonna get something like that so that's like a heart or something right as you can see it doesn't color just one pixel it colors the pixels that are around that one that that pixel right so you don't want to use this one because then you have to do a lot of editing you want to go well let me erase this so go to the race tool and again this one also has like a 50 the size of this is 15 but you can adjust that so for now i'm gonna well let me adjust it let me put one here all right and then let me go here and select the pencil tool uh, there and you want to put one as well because if you leave 15 then it's gonna color it's gonna paint on 
it's gonna paint, yeah it's gonna paint 15 of the pixels you just want one right so let's say that now i want to draw like the heart right so see now you can you only get one uh one pixel at a time and then you can just draw it like this right or whatever and then you got it and then you can go to the eraser tool and then this is gonna delete just one well here you have to to click a couple of times right until it's clear or you can just go and increase the size of the eraser just make it eight right and then just go like this which is a, a little bit better but with the pencil tool you want to keep it at one so that you can start drawing your art all right so that that's that and again as i said you want to save your your file constantly so you save it as a psd which is the photoshop uh, file extension i think oh. Feel free to create your own art, whatever you want to create, whatever animal, whatever person, whatever you want to create, just create it here. And let's see, let me just uh, erase that. So, so you want to create like, you know, a layer for the base, a layer for the eyes, a layer for the ears, a layer for the, for another, I don't know, sunglasses if you have eyewear, a uh, layer for the, I don't know, for the legs, for the hands. Uh, here you want to create all the layers that you want your nft to have so right now i only have the background right so let's say that i want to create the base layer right so i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna click on command j this is on mac it uh, i guess it's something similar for the windows and then you'll you'll copy this layer right and as you can see this one is highlighted so that that's how you know that you're here and you're editing this one so make sure that it's always highlighted so the one that you want to edit, it's always highlighted, right? So make sure that that's, that's there. Uh, here, double click here and you can say something like base, right? Uh, base is standard or something like that. And here you're going to start drawing your base. So once again, uh, let me just, I don't know, draw something here. Whatever it is, I'll just draw something. So let's say that, right? So you have your base. I used red, you you can use any color here. You select the color and change it, right? So now you have this. So that's your base. Let me create a different one. Let me create um let me go here and then copy this as well. So let's see. So we'll create something like this and we'll name it eyes, right? Mm. All right and as you can see if you click here on the eye icon it's gonna disappear the layer that you're selecting is gonna disappear if you go to well the background is not gonna disappear it stays it stays there so go to the eyes and then just uh, we'll just uh, paint some eyes I guess I'll draw some eyes here so something like that right like that right so now if you want this to disappear, then you just click here and you don't have more eyes. So you start with the background and then let's say that you have your base standard. You want the base to always be just the base, right? You don't want the base to have eyes because that's going to interfere with other layers. So you want to create only the base here. And then the eyes, you want to create it on a different layer so that you can, you know, superimpose on the on that layer. So once you put all of these in the in this library that generates the NFTs, it's this library is going to stack the NFTs on top of each other. That's why you want to create different layers for all the things. So like the eyes, the ears, the hands, the the legs and so forth and so on. And I'm going to show you what I created since I already created it. I'm just going to go to file and then open the I will open my project, right? So let's uh let's see if I can find it here. So as you can see, this is the NFT that I created and you can still see the pixels here. So this one says background, but let's just name it base. So you only need to create one base and then you can edit that base, like copy paste that base and then change the color and so forth and so on. And I'll show you how to do that. So as you can see here, you only want the base, right? And then you want a layer for the eyes and then you activate that and then you can see the eyes. So if I hide this, you'll only see the eyes and so forth and so on, right? So let me just rename this here. Eyes. 
uh, so let's say that I, you want to create like a you want the, your Doge to have like a different uh, a different color, right? So you go to base and then once again just duplicate that one and just say uh, base red, let's say, or, or let's just use uh, I don't know like a different color uh, green, yeah, whatever. And then you're gonna hide this one here and make sure that you're working with this one make sure that you're editing that one because this, so if this one is highlighted then that means that you're editing that one so make sure you do that you check that go here to the color you, so we'll use this kind of green or something like that and we'll select the pencil tool here uh, let's see pencil we'll change this to one alright then we'll start uh, if you can see it here are you ready painted the green here so so you just click on it and then you know you can start just changing the color of your base right yeah and that's how you want to do it maybe I should have chosen a different color but I think you can still see it so you'll do that for the whole the whole part that you want to change the color for right so in my case this whole thing so. all right so once you finish you'll have a base that's a different color in this case green right and if I hide this you you won't see anything but like let's say that this is the original base so then you know it has a different color you want the base that's green you have this this one and then you have the eyes right so what we want to do now is so you'll create, you know, as many bases as you want. You'll create as many eye, eye layers as you want. Maybe if you wanted to have, a, I don't know, maybe like a hat. Then you'll create a hat layer and so forth and so on. So once you have all the layers that you want, then we'll do the following. We're going to save the project first. So we'll go and save the project. And we'll save it as a PSD, right? So we'll do that and it will save on your computer and then you can open it up again right and then you wanna uh, you wanna issue the following command so you wanna put alt command i and this is gonna pop up something a window that says image size and here you're gonna put 600 by 600 and you're gonna keep this the same and where it says interpolation you're gonna pick nearest neighbor and this is so that the, the image looks good once we size it up. So now click OK. And you'll have something like that. It's going to zoom in all the way. And once you zoom out, you'll see that you see how the pixels disappear. Or at least you don't see them. So that's where you, this is where you want to get, right? So you want to get this layer like this. And once you issue that command, all of the layers are going to, are gonna be like that see and here it's more difficult to edit them that's why you want to save the project before you do this and after you do this as well so now that I have the layers I'm gonna save it here and I'm gonna save it again and then I'll just rename it like you know layers after sizing up or layers you know afterwards or something like that and the other one you can name it something like layers before sizing it up right so you want to do that and then you want to save these layers. These are the ones that you want to save. So go to file and then export it as PNG. And here already has all the parameters that you picked when you size that up. So you want to keep those and then you just go and save it. And then do the same thing with the other layer. And you want to do this with all of the layers that you have. So PNG, once again, save it. And then the eyes same thing export it as PNG and then save it alright so you're gonna have more layers and I'll show you you know I'll have more layers the next time that I pick up this tutorial because I'll be creating more just to show you so once you do that you're done with this for now and you wanna go to your desktop and create a new folder called you know the name of your collection uh, Doge, yeah, club in my case. 
Oh, it's already taken. So NFT, just name it NFT test or something like that. We'll go here and we'll create some a new folder that will be called NFT layers. Just that, just NFT layers, right? And here you'll go and create a new folder if you want to, if you want to be more organized. And here you'll put like base, and then you'll create another one that says, uh, you know, eyes or something like that. And if you have more things, more traits, then you'll, you know, you'll create more, right? So then you'll select the files. So I'm looking for them here, and I'm gonna put them here. So what you have to rename them. So this one is eyes and whatever you can put eyes looking right. And then you put it here in this folder and then do the same with this. So let me take a look to see which one is that. Um, so it came up on the other screen. So this one is the base layer. So I'm just going to put like, you know, like the standard one, right? I already know it's a base and it's the standard one. And this one is the again this ca it came up on the other screen this one is the green one so then I'll just put you know green or something like that right all right and then I'll save it there and now I have two bases and then I can I can keep creating more I can just go to uh can go to photo P again and just create more layers once again I go to base uh, command J in my case and I'll create another copy and be like, you know, base red. And then I'll just paint it red. And I will save that one. And that would be the base that's red. And so forth and so on. So you want to create as many layers as you want your NFTs to have. And then you want to save them uh, in the way that I showed you. Well, in this case, I created the base here, but I cannot edit it. So I have to go back to when it was like a pixelated. And then I can edit it. So just make sure that you do that. Uh, yeah, we're going to stop here. So you're going to create your layers. It's the first thing that you want to do. And you want to save your work all the time again. You want to create your layers. You're going to download them and you're going to organize them by, you know, folders. So based on whatever you have. And we're going to pick up after that to create the backgrounds and align the layers. So that when once we put them in the library, then the software is going to stack them, um, you know, correctly. And they're going to be aligned with each other. So that's what we are going to do the next tutorial. And in this case, uh, this is where we end this one. So right. thank you.